Hello and welcome back to Boxer Gaming and today we're going to have a very quick tutorial just um, checking out how to install the world that I just put online. I uh, had some questions on how to do this. It's, it's very simple. So first you download the world, right? So it's a zip file. So all you do is uh, extract it. Um, if you normally, if you have Windows, like no WinRAR or anything, you can just open it with a Windows Explorer as well, right? So you get this folder here. Then you find your Feed the Beast folder and if you don't know where that is, uh, simply open the launcher, go to options, and it'll be here under the install folder. Ta-da! Cool. Uh, then you find, you go in there, of course, so let's see, for me, Feed the Beast. You go into Die Wolf 20, Minecraft, saves, and then you just copy this folder over. Now, because I already have a box of world, um, I'm just going to have to rename it, but you, well, unless you have the same world name, but... Uh, normally you wouldn't have to do that, so let me just close this. Let's rename this to Boxer World blah blah. Let me copy that in there. Now you don't have to do this. I'm just going to do this because it's a bit easier to uh, to manage for you guys. So I'm just going to remove myself from the server so that if I spawn, I'll uh, spawn in the same place as you normally would. Uh, actually, I, I'm still going to spawn somewhere else, so doesn't matter. Right, so then uh, you're pretty much done. All you do is launch um, Die Wolf 20's pack. Boom. Let it load for a bit. Uh, still wishing you could skip that, even though it's only a second or two, but that would be the best thing. Cool. You can also here see my FPS and hear the current time that I'm recording. And this little blue thing here on the bottom, that's uh, from Playclaw. Um, I've recently switched from DX Story to Playclaw. Uh, it seems to be a lot faster and a lot more stable even. So I went from Fraps to DX Story to Playclaw and I'm very happy with this so far. Cool. Um, so then you go single player and there it'll be. For This is my normal survival world of course. This is the blah blah the new one. What we do is spawn in there. Now you will spawn quite far from my house. You'll actually spawn quite close to my old house. Um, which is interesting. Um, so you'll be there, about 850 meters, right? So you can either get the um, the uh, coordinates that, that will be here under the map and just pause the video there uh, to walk to my base. Or an easier way, I think, is to walk oh, straight west. Because uh, as you can see now, if I'm pointing at my old house, it's pretty much directly east of my current house. So if you walk straight west, uh, you'll eventually get to this village. Pretty cool. Hey, of course, you can also use the coordinates. It's pretty simple. Um, you wouldn't have these waypoints. What I'll do for next time, I'm trying to get one of these world downloads every 10 episodes, probably. Um, I'll make some sort of path, and then later on, we'll make a teleporter, I reckon, because those are cool. <laughs> but um, for next episode, um, probably, sorry, for episode 30, I'll make another world download, and I'll make some kind of path using, I don't know, glowstone or something, or lamps. Maybe lamps. Lamps are cool. Right, so that's about it. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or if something doesn't work, let me know. Um, they're usually easy to fix. It's quite a simple process. Cool. I will see you next time.